and welcome to this new video tutorial of TikTok feed widget for the Magento 2 platform and in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you how the TikTok videos or the feeds can be displayed at the uh, Magento 2 web store at the front end and apart from that we'll also be going through the widget configuration uh, that is required for adding the widget to the different pages wherein you will be able to display uh, the TikTok feeds itself. Apart from that, we'll also be showing you how the admin would be able to add multiple TikTok URLs from the admin backend panel and the con different configurations as well. So uh, before we proceed further to the web show front end to check the TikTok feed widget, uh, before that, let me give you a small gist about this plugin itself. So basically, it allows the uh, Magento 2 store owners to display the feeds from the TikTok channel and uh, the customers can basically uh, with the TikTok videos within the uh, Magento 2 web store itself and uh, without the need of going uh, or navigating to any other uh, pages and uh, the customers can also scroll through the available videos very easily. So the uh, Magento 2 store admin can now basically display the store product videos or other applicable videos uh, that are available at the TikTok channel by just adding the widget and uh, thus making the web store more attractive, eye-catching and engaging for the customers. So uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this uh, particular plugin uh, brings up the TikTok feed uh, videos within your Magento 2 web store. So for that, let me take you to the front end now. So here I am at the uh, Magento 2 web store right now as you can see. So I'm not logged into my account uh, as well. So uh, after the admin has basically configured the uh, plugin itself from the admin backend panel and he has set up the different uh, TikTok URLs and he has saved them as well. And after that, when he has created basically uh, the widget for the uh, TikTok itself. So uh, depending upon uh, the pages for which uh, the admin has enabled this particular plugin, on those pages, uh, the customers would be able to see the TikTok videos directly uh, so uh, what you need to do is right now I'm on the home screen here. So what I'll do is I'll just scroll down uh, to the end of the page first. So just scroll down to the end of the home page here. So here you can see that uh, we are basically displaying the uh, TikTok feeds or the Amazon to to web store itself. And uh, now the customers basically would be able to easily access the TikTok videos within the Magento 2, 2 web store itself without the need of leaving the web store and then navigating to the TikTok website or uh, the uh, maybe uh, if you're using a mobile application there. So uh, the customers can also slide uh, between the videos that are, that are being uh, displayed here. So for that you just need to tap on the right arrow that you can see and to uh, slide to the next or to the previous videos you can tap here on the left end uh, uh, icon uh, that you can see here right now so if i tap that up it would basically bring up the other uh, videos that are there so basically we have set up this uh, widget uh, within this uh, particular slider and this helps the customers to easily navigate between the uh, different uh, tiktok video feeds uh, that have already been added by the web store admin from the admin backend panel. So uh, also uh, the TikTok video player has been enabled within the widget and uh, with the help of that uh, the customers would now be able to check the videos within the Magento 2 web store itself. So basically this was the uh, workflow of this particular uh, what we say as the uh, Magento 2 TikTok uh, video uh, widget and uh, we have seen that uh, the admin can easily enable the videos uh, or the video feeds uh, from the admin backend panel and then the customers can easily uh, check those videos as well so if i tap on the left arrow here then i'll be navigated to the other videos as well that the admin has set up and from here uh, if the uh, customer wants he can basically tap on the discover more on tiktok Maybe he wants to check other uh, videos as well, apart from the ones that the admin has created uh, for his own web store. Maybe these videos are of the uh, products or maybe services as well. So basically this allows uh, the admin of the web store uh, uh, to uh, basically attract the customers uh, using the eye-catching and engaging uh, videos uh, within the Magento 2 web store itself. 
So uh, now let me go to the admin backend panel and let's see how basically we can configure the uh, widget in the first place and then how the admin would be able to uh, add multiple TikTok URLs from the backend panel as well. So now let me take you to the admin backend panel of this particular plugin. So now I'm at the uh, web store backend for the Magento 2 platform as you can see. So I'll be logging into my admin backend uh, account panel. So I'll just enter my username, password, and then I'll tap on the uh, sign in button. And thereafter, here I am at the uh, dashboard. Now, after you've successfully installed this particular Magento 2 TikTok widget uh, plugin, you'll be able to find the TikTok URLs on the left hand side panel, as you can see here. And tapping that arm brings up the TikTok URLs. So now let me open that first and let's see what different uh, options are there within the uh, TikTok feed URLs. So uh, basically here within the TikTok, uh, what we say as the TikTok uh, URL section, the admin would be able to uh, add multiple uh, new TikTok uh, URLs that the admin wants to uh, basically display at the uh, Magento 2 web store front end. And apart from that, the admin can see the complete list of TikTok URLs that the admin has already added uh, under this particular section. And uh, here the admin can basically delete any of the created, uh, any of the added TikTok URLs by first choosing that particular URL. And then from the actions drop down, the admin can delete that particular one. You can also multi-select the uh, URLs and you can delete them as well. Apart from that, you can also search uh, the TikTok URLs uh, using the uh, keywords as well. What's about uh, the uh, search keyword? Apart from that, you can also filter the TikTok URLs using the ID from and to values and the TikTok URLs as well. And uh, now uh, to create or to add a new uh, TikTok uh, URL, the admin just needs to tap here on the save new TikTok. But uh, what you need to do is so you just need to enter the URL here. Uh, you can also enter multiple URLs as well, uh, separated by a comma. And after entering the URLs, you just need to tap on the Save Nave TikTok button here. And that would add that particular URL within the list here as well. Now I want you to uh, know that you need to uh, copy the uh, URL feed. And for that, uh, I'll just open one uh, URL feed that I've already uh, opened up. So here we can see that we are on the Commando uh, Fitness Club. And what we need to do is we need to copy this section that's up till the question mark as you can see, right? So we'll just copy all of the URL that is there up to the question mark and we'll just leave uh, the question and the rest there. And before that, whatever we have, we'll cut or copy that. And now I'll just add that particular one here within the enter URL section. And then we'll tap the same name TikTok button so you can see that uh, the particular TikTok URL has been saved. So uh, let's check whether the URL has been added or not. All right, on the 74th ID number, here you can see that now we have our uh, particular uh, TikTok uh, video uh, URL basically that we have added. So uh, just give me a minute. Now, uh, this was basically how we can add the uh, TikTok uh, URLs from the admin backend panel. Now, after that, we'll just go to the widget configuration. And for that, from the side panel, we'll be navigating through uh, content. Then uh, we'll be uh, tapping on the widget under the elements. And that will bring up the section to uh, create a new widget. So right now, we are already added uh, a number of uh, widgets there. So to add a new widget, uh, the admin basically add a new widget by tapping here on the add uh, widget button. And that will bring up the section where the admin would be able to create a new widget. And here the admin just needs to uh, select the uh, TikTok feed widget. So under the widget settings here, we can uh, choose the type of the widget. So right now here you can see in the last, we have the TikTok feed widget. I'll select that up. Apart from that, uh, the admin basically can choose the uh, design theme as well. So for now, we'll just select it as Magento uh, Luma. And after choosing the type of widget and uh, selecting your design theme, you just need to tap on the continue button. And uh, after that button has been pressed, uh, now we can see that we can basically set up the widget title and we can basically assign this particular widget that we have created to the different uh, store waves as well. So here you can see we have different store waves as well. Otherwise we can choose all store waves 
to display this particular widget on all of these two waves and widget title so let me set it as test commando and uh, apart from that uh, we can basically add a layout as well and we can set up the uh, sort of order for this particular uh, TikTok feed uh, URL now after that we just need to go to the widget options here and here you can see that uh, we have uh, already had all the URLs there and lastly we have the uh, commando fitness club so here you can see the uh, widgets that would be basically available if you multi select uh, for example if I choose these three particular URLs then these three would be displayed at the web store front end and uh, if you want you can also choose all of them to display all of that all of these particular urls within this particular widget that we are going to create and uh, we can also choose the number of columns that uh, should be visible at the web store front end so let me take you to the home page first and uh, now let me scroll down so here you can see that we have three columns only and when we press the next we always are able to see only three columns there so basically under the widget configuration here you can basically choose uh, the number of columns that you want to display for the widget and uh, that is basically the uh, actual settings that we have done for the widget we have just selected the uh, uh, widget first and that was a tiktok feed widget then we chose the design theme and after that we tapped on the continue button thereafter we just added the widget title assigned it to the various uh, store waves and then we came to the widget option wherein we chose the tiktok urls that want we want to be displayed over the web store within this particular widget and we set up the number of columns and lastly we just need to tap on the save button at the top to uh, basically save this particular widget i just forgot something so i'll just take you to the storefront properties once again and here uh, I had uh, uh, told you that we can add the uh, layout updates here. So basically first the admin needs to click on the add uh, layout update uh, button and thereafter the admin basically can select the display on option and here the admin can specify on which page he wants to render the widgets and uh, for example all uh, maybe or uh, will choose it as all pages and after choosing the display on option uh, the admin will be able to set up the container as well so once the specified page is selected a container box will appear uh, will or will be displayed and here the admin just needs to uh, select the container in which uh, location will the widget be rendered at so within the content uh, within the container we can choose the place where this particular widget will be visible and then you just need to lastly uh, tap on the save configuration button so that was the main configuration uh, settings for this particular magento 2 uh, tiktok uh, feed widget and i hope this helped you out i showed you how it would be uh, the feeds would be appearing at the web store front end how the customer can navigate through each of them the customers can tap on the play button as well to play these uh, uh, videos as well and uh, thereafter i showed you uh, what different options are all right so uh, thereafter I'll just show you how to add the uh, widgets from the admin backend panel and how to choose the tiktok feed widget and how to set up the storefront and the widget options and thereafter you'll be ready to go and you can basically check your uh, magento 2 tiktok feed videos at your web store front end so uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself and if you have any questions queries or suggestions uh, regarding this particular plugin then uh, you can always get back to me at uh, support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvs.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead